will discuss about the superficial fascia of the palmar aspect of the head. Superficial fascia of the palmar aspect of the head. The superficial fascia, here superficial fascia has fibro fatty tissue. Like fibrous tissue, the skin is connected with deep fascia and fatty tissue which forms the cushion like structure. So, this superficial fascia is fibro fatty here and it contains numerous cutaneous nerves and one muscle that is palmaris brevis. Here, the muscle is present that is palmaris brevis. It lies the skin present in the superficial fascia of the hypothenar evidence. In this diagram, this area is hypothenar evidence. This is hypothenar So this muscle is palmaris brevis. This muscle is palmaris brevis. This is present in the superficial fascia. This muscle takes origin from deep fascia. That means it takes origin from here. This is flexor retinaculum. Some fibers arise from flexor retinaculum here. And also, here is a triangular structure which is found by deep fascia. That is palmar epidurosis. So it takes origin from deep fascia, that means flexor retinaculum and palmar epidurosis. And this is inserted into the skin. And this is present in the superficial fascia. And this muscle is supplied by superficial branch of the ulnar nerve. And then important structure that is cutaneous nerve of this region. Here, as you know, here this is median nerve. This is median nerve. Here is ulnar nerve. Median nerve. This is ulnar nerve. And this is flexor retinaculum. This is flexor retinaculum. This is flexor retinaculum. In this diagram, here is median nerve, this is ulnar nerve, this is flexor retinaculum. This median nerve, before passing deep to flexor retinaculum, it gives a branch about 5 cm proximal to this flexor retinaculum. It gives a branch, this branch is This is palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve. This is palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve which passes superficial to flexor retinaculum. This is palmar cutaneous branch. Media. This palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve gives supply to lateral two third of the hollow of the palm and also this skin of the thinner eminence. So this area, this portion from here to here, this is supplied by this palmar cutaneous branch of median nerve. 
from here to here this portion this area is supplied by farmer put in this branch of the median line and here on the other side there is one branch that is Palmer cutaneous branch of Alnanda. This is Palmer cutaneous branch of Alnanda. It gives supply no? medial one third of the hollow of the palm and skin over the hypothenar eminence. So this area is supplied by Palmer cutaneous branch of Alnanda. This is Palmer cutaneous branch of Alnanda. branches passes superficial to flexor retina phloem and gives supply to the hollow of the palm and here it gives supply to the skin of the thinner eminence and here skin of the hypothenar eminence. And the thing this median nerve here it passes deep to flexor retina phloem this is flexor retina phloem it passes deep to flexor retina phloem and after passing this flexor retina phloem, deep to flexor retina phloem, it gives branch. This is a recurrent branch which gives supply to three muscles. These three muscles are muscles of the thinner eminence. These are abductor pollicis brevis. These muscles are this is abductor pollicis brevis. This is Flexor pollicis brevis and this opponent's pollicis. So these three muscles are supplied by this recurrent branch of the median nerve. And it continues, this branch continues, digital branches. It gives numerous digital branches. These are digital branch to thumb digital branch to index finger and this digital branch to index finger gives supply to the first lumbrical there is first lumbrical it is supplied by this digital branch and the digital branch it gives it gives supply to index and middle finger there is another digital branch which gives supply to the middle finger and ring finger. So thus median nerve gives supply to these three and half digits. So this branch, this digital branch gives supply to three and half digits. First, second, third and this is half. Palmer aspect of three and half digit. This, this, this and half of this. And palmer aspect and also on dorsal aspect. This nerve from here turns dorsal side and gives supply to the skin over the distal phalanx of lateral three and half digits. This is distal phalanx, skin over distal phalanx, near bit of the lateral three and half digits. So from here it turns to backward and gives supply to dorsal aspect also. So this is cutaneous supply by the median nerve. Another nerve here, after giving palmar cutaneous branch, this another nerve passes superficial to flexor retina phloem. Remember, this passes superficial to flexor retina phloem under cover of the ulnar carpal ligament. This is other carpal ligament. This is under cover of the other carpal ligament. It gives superficial and deep branch. Deep branch passes 
through piezo hamid tunnel we'll discuss later this is deep branch here is superficial branch this superficial branch gives digital branches to give supply medial one and half digit one and half digit on the front side and also on the dorsal side over the distal phalanx or medial one and half digit so thus in the superficial fascia these nerves are present which gives supply to the fingers and the palm so uh, this is all about the superficial fascia thank you